The spill occurred Friday afternoon after Husky Energy was bringing its lines back on. It's reported to be an unusual spill happening on the seafloor, not near the ship. Reasonable to uh, assume that it was damage to subsea infrastructure. Um, but until we're able to hear more from the operator and carry out our own investigation, um, it's a bit too soon to speculate as to, to root cause and exactly what happened. The leak that uh, came out on Friday, uh, we haven't seen anything since that day. Um, we have uh, observation vessels over the area uh, on a continuous basis, so we, uh, we've got that this far. The cause of the leak still hasn't been fully identified. Sea conditions were too dangerous to dispatch a remote operated vehicle until this afternoon. Each certain wave heights, uh, of course, the uh, putting the ROV in the water, um, safety of the personnel comes first, and then the equipment, you know, we don't want to damage any of the equipment there either. Certainly, you know, intuitively you can see that, that that particular operator was out in front of the others in terms of attempting to resume production. The environmental impact is still being assessed as well. Four birds have been fouled so far. Those birds that get oiled, they're going to die slowly. They're going to shiver in the ocean and die slowly. And that oil shouldn't be there. And, and besides those kind, I don't know what happens with plankton. I don't know what happens with fish. I just know the oil shouldn't be there. Husky Energy will be highly scrutinized for this latest spill. The company has been faulted in the past for its ice management strategy after a bird got too close for comfort. In any sort of industrial activity, the track record of a company is uh, first and foremost in terms of the mind of an enforcement agency such as ours. So certainly Husky's previous record here and elsewhere is going to factor into our assessment of the situation. When the investigation is complete, Husky Energy could face consequences for this spill with fines, and it could potentially have its operating license pulled. Lynn? Thank you very much. NTV's Kellyanne Roberts reporting live this evening.